It looks a little like something you might see in outer space, not a picturesque Lancashire village. But this isn't a space rocket, it's a screw, and it's Worley's answer to producing its own energy. Worley's had a weir for 600 years. Latterly, it hasn't been used. It seemed an awful waste to us, but it's just a way of using water power that's always there to generate electricity for the benefit of the community again. 12 metres long, 3.6 metres in diameter and weighing 13 tonnes. It's only when you get really close that the true scale of the screw is clear to see. It's going to take the force of the whole river to turn this, generating electricity which will then be fed into the national grid. Onlookers watched in awe as the Archimedean screw was lowered into place, none more so than David Parkinson. He's one of several shareholders who've invested their money in the project in the hope of getting a dividend in return. Well, I like the idea of it from a micro uh, energy point of view. It's a better thing than windmills, in my opinion. But I think also for my grandchildren, this thing will still be here in 50 years' time, 100 years' time, still generating electricity um, as, as the original weir was designed to do. Some critics are fearful about the impact the hydro will have on wildlife and fish stocks, while others say it will spoil the view. Phil Harrison's garden overlooks the weir and says he isn't worried. At first we're a bit disturbed by the, the changes, but for what it actually is going to do, I think that's a remarkable thing and I think it's quite uh, innovative in the way that uh, the investment of the, you know, the whole community has come together. There are quite a lot of people who worry about the fish, uh, probably because there have been some bad examples of hydro schemes in other parts of the country. We feel very strongly that we've learnt all the lessons there are to be learnt. We've worked very, very closely with the Environment Agency and time shortly, in about three months, we'll know that we have got it right and that will be super. It's hoped the screw will start rotating on the 15th of October and that by November green energy will be going into the national grid. 100 homes will benefit, carbon emissions will be reduced and so long as the river keeps flowing, so too will Worley's very own electricity source. Amy Welch, ITV News, Worley.